Hi, I'm Charlotte and I work in the real estate team. Along with my colleague Victoria, we'll be discussing declarations of trust. When you own a property, you're considered legally as the registered proprietor. There are three ways that you can hold a property. The first way you can hold a property is as joint tenants. The second way is as tenants in common in equal shares. And finally, tenants in common in unequal shares. Starting with joint tenants, as you mentioned, is the one way you could hold a property. So if you and another purchaser entered into um, the purchase of a property, you could hold joint tenants, whereby you would equally own all shares in the property. And the, the difference with this and tenants in common and equal shares is that on the death of a, one of the proprietors, the shares in the property would automatically transfer to the surviving proprietor or proprietors. So tenants in common um, is different in that you would, ha starting with tenants in common and equal shares, you would hold your own share of the property, but that would remain separate from the other party's interest. So this evidence of this would be on the title register at the land registry, where um, a restriction would be placed on the title to, as evidence that it's held as tenants in common. The difference, as mentioned earlier with joint tenants, is that then on the death of one of the proprietors, um, the existing share of the deceased in the property would not automatically transfer to the other proprietor. It would go into the deceased estate. So it would then be dealt with in accordance with their will. If there was no will present, it would be dealt with by intestacy rules. So now moving to tenants in common and unequal shares. This, the principles remain the same as just described as tenants in common, however, as the name would suggest, the shares in which would be unequal, and this is where a declaration of trust would come into play. So where does the declaration of trust fit in? Well, starting with a brief definition, um, a declaration of trust is a document that would be drawn up um, at the time of purchase to express the interest of each party at the time of purchase. So, if circumstances of party changed, would you recommend further legal advice was sought? Most certainly, yes. So, at the initial point of purchase and at any time in the future, so perhaps if one of the proprietors was intending to remarry, then a declaration of trust should be entered into to protect the other uh, proprietor's interest in the property. So, why is the declaration of trust important? Well, it's become a lot more common in recent years due to changes in society. Um, examples of a few reasons why a declaration of trust would be important is perhaps in the instance that a young new couple decided to purchase the property together. Um, we as solicitors would always advise that, um, whilst we hope nothing would happen, um, a declaration of trust should be entered into perhaps in the instance that one of the proprietors put in more money towards the deposit. Um, that could be put into the agreement or perhaps where there's a mortgage on the property and they have an agreement in the sense that one of the proprietors would pay the mortgage and the other would pay the bills. Um, declarations of the trust can be as complex or as simple as circumstances require. Uh, moving on to another example would be um, later in life perhaps a second marriage. Um, again becoming a lot more common in recent years where parties that are entering into a purchase are remarried. This is where a declaration of trust would come into play if perhaps they both had children from previous marriages and again in the unfortunate event of death of one of the proprietors they could ensure that um, it didn't revert all to the existing proprietor and that children from a previous marriage would not be disinherited perhaps. As part of the real estate team we work closely with our clients. It's vital that declarations of trust are drafted clearly and correctly to ensure protections of our clients assets and avoid complications in the future.